In this quick video, you're going to learn how to create scrolling text in Elementor, like you see right here, without using a plugin. We're even to show you how to add these funny little emoticons that you see everywhere and how to get them into your news sticker. You can call this a news sticker, a scrolling marquee, scrolling text, moving text. There's lots of different names for it. There's plugins that you can get that will do this for you. We're going to do it today without a plugin. So to get started, let me just delete what we have here. I'm going to add a new section. I'm going to make it with three columns. I'm going to put the scrolling text in the middle. You can put this wherever you want. It can be in just a section at the top of your site. It could be at the bottom. It could be a full width row. It could be whatever you want. So to do this, we need to look up our widgets here and find our HTML widget. This is going to allow us to add some very simple HTML code. To start our HTML code, we open, or we click over here first, we open the HTML code tag, write the word marquee, M-A-R-Q-U-E-E, -E, then close it. Elementor is automatically going to add the closing tag as well. Now in between these two, where the two less than and greater than signs meet, we're going to paste in or write in what text you want. So let's use the word test and see what happens. We see the word test now effortlessly scrolling across the screen. And that's it. New sticker done, because now you can add this wherever you want, and you got your new sticker. You might want to add some more text. I'm just going to paste in what I had earlier. Local weather, sunshine, hurricane with a sunshine, and then a pipe character, news, 17 people landed on Mars today in a rocket ship. Pipe character, stories, we like stories a lot, and a book. And that's just in here, just text in here. And where I got these little pictures from, is the Joy Pixels Chrome extension. There's so many in here. You just find one, you click on it, that copies it to your clipboard, and you go wherever you want, basically, and you paste it in. And now we're gonna have a unicorn on our second bit of news right there. It looks a little different than the one we pasted in because there is some, some interpretation done by the web browser. So different web browsers might display these slightly differently, but it's more or less a unicorn, more or less what we have here. You can also change the direction. So right now it's left to right. That's the most common direction. You could also make it up and down, right to left, left to right, and down to up. To do that, we click inside of our marquee HTML tag, add a space, add the word direction, equals, and then open and close quotes. Inside these two quotes is where we're going to write our direction. If I put left in here, nothing changes. It's still going left. If I put right in here, it's now going from left to right, or towards the right is the way you can read the word right in there. If we put up in there, it's going up. In this case, you could add a carriage return and instead of a pipe character to space those out properly. To do that, you add what's called a break tag. It's just open pointy bracket br. You can add a forward slash or not. This depends on how you do it. You could also have just the BR like this. And now that is going to put the second news item on its own line. We can add another break right here. And now each of those news items is on its own line, which makes more sense for the up and down. We can also have down as a direction. And now if we go back to left after adding those breaks, we see them all stacked up going left to right. And maybe that's what you want too. Just depends on how you want to set this up. If you don't want those breaks, you want them all on their own line again, or all on one line, sorry, not their own line. Just add our pipe characters back in, and sometimes with the Elementor editor over here with the HTML, that's a little, little funny sometimes, there we go. Now we have it set up how we had it in the beginning, and that's how we add a new sticker. It's really that simple. And next up, check out this playlist right here. It's the Elementor Skills playlist on my channel where I help you level up your Elementor skills. The one down below it is the WordPress Skills playlist. If you want to really level up your skills, check out both of those. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.